Hey guys, this is MB from ondrogchance.com and in today's video I will share two qualified bets from my private MLB betting model. Uh, for last month or so I didn't, uh, I was not uh, in my country, I was living in islands and right now I'm back uh, for last week or something like that. I didn't create a video uh, but I'm back right now and I will keep sharing my picks with you. Uh, I already reached my goal, my aim was to make 40 units this season with MLB so I already reached this uh, in three months or four months uh, and uh, uh, for I, and right now I have a little bit more time so I will work on some new betting models uh, some new exciting things uh, for myself and for our members who join our masterclass and uh, uh, if you want to learn how to use sports betting models if you want to learn how to use numbers if you want to become a long-term winner who doesn't rely on other people's picks uh, and if you want to stop following picks or paying for picks uh, i can teach you all that uh, so if you watch the course uh, and if you go step by step uh, and take every single advice from me uh, you will learn uh, much more than uh, most betters in their whole lifetime uh, because we know that most betters don't use any numbers at all and most betters also lose in the long run right and once you know how to use numbers, uh, this is your advantage uh, against the market, okay? Uh, so uh, today I will share my numbers with you from my private betting model and I have two qualified bets. So if you're new to my channel, uh, here we have the teams. Those are my projected numbers uh, from my betting model because the spreadsheets take into account different statistics, uh, then calculates winning percentages. Then I compare with bookmakers odds with pinnacle odds always i also track against uh, closing pinnacle odds uh, which is something uh, which should be the norm in the industry uh, especially people who sell picks i believe they should all use one bookmaker uh, pinnacle and then uh, track against pinnacle uh, odds which are the sharpest odds or maybe circa odds uh, and uh, this would be then the best indicator who is really good or who is not good uh, but most betters handicappers even don't have the detailed results so it is hard to say right uh, but i track it against pinnacle closing codes and here we have a, a value report uh, which is a discrepancy between my projected numbers and bookmakers numbers right which makes sense right uh, so uh, dodger san diego padres my line is minus 161 bookmakers minus 114 uh and i found the value with money line san diego and first five innings as well okay usually uh, if i have huge underdogs i took uh, plus run lines of course this is not an underdog but just i want to mention okay uh, miami cincinnati uh based on my projections there is maybe small value with miami but still not good enough because i am looking for much bigger number okay uh minnesota detroit no value maybe small value with minnesota but as, as i said very small if we check decimal odds 1.55 five my number bookmakers uh, number 1.63 very small difference uh, and i'm looking for a little bit bigger uh, washington philadelphia not qualified again uh i give uh i don't give better chance to washington but my betting mall says that philadelphia is probably uh, uh, overrated in this game because my line on philadelphia is minus 151 bookmakers minus 204 so based on my projections philadelphia is overrated but i still give them uh, more than 60 percent of chance to win this game okay atlanta pittsburgh no value chicago cups no value but maybe small value with chicago cups mates are probably a little bit overrated in this game toronto cleveland i skipped this game because uh, pitcher is not qualified i was talking about this in my previous video so if i don't have enough information about the pitcher i simply skip this game okay kansas city against boston no value not enough value uh maybe small value with boston but not good enough yankees uh white Sox. my numbers and bookmakers numbers are too close colorado milwaukee i skipped this game and then we have two games where my numbers and bookmakers numbers are basically the same uh this is uh, uh because of those two numbers we see that my numbers and bookmakers numbers are basically uh very similar okay so if it is close to zero or if it is negative this means that there is no value and my numbers are same than bookmakers 
or the bookmakers numbers are very sharp and I skip this game. Okay. But if the number is bigger, right, this, this number, then uh, at some point it became a value for me. Okay. So this is how I use. So I simply type the teams and uh, the, the betting model will calculate me uh, the value. Okay. Uh, so San Diego Padres money line at the right price, of course, uh, and San Diego Padres first five innings. Those are two qualified bets. As I said, I already reached 40 units, but I will share uh, these picks with you. Uh, but again, if you want to stop follow me, if you want to become a long-term winner in sports betting, uh, I have a betting course. Uh, you can start with free course or you can start with betting masterclass. And if you go through all the videos, if you go through all the practice, uh, you will become uh, among the best bettors in the world, uh, which I... Uh, Truly believe uh, if you will take every single advice, every single practice, uh, because we know that 90% of bettors don't use the numbers at all. Uh, and I can teach you how you can use numbers. Okay. So thank you for watching and see you next time.